Welcome back everybody. So it's been a minute since I've done a movie review. So it is another midnight movie review. We were in the backyard. It's a little bit hot. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of a special, special video. I have a special guest with me today. It's the collaboration of a lifetime. So I want everybody to meet my little niece. Welcome, Lily. So, Lily, this is my little niece. Her name is Lily, and she has her own YouTube channel as well. Lily, say hi. Hi. So, what is your channel name? Lily and Iris, Sister Reviews for Kids. Lily and Iris, Sister Reviews, Sisters Reviews for Kids. All right, then what are we going to be doing today, Lily? We're going to be reviewing the movie The Mist. The movie The Mist? Yes. Is that a kid's movie? No. <laughs> All right. So Do not let your kids watch this, although I'm a kid. All right, so just a disclaimer. So before we watched it, the, uh, the movie, uh, I got the permission of my sister, well, her mom, and she said that we could watch it. Funny enough, she actually thought we were joking about Ask watching a movie. <laughs> and then she's like, wait, wait, what did you guys watch? <laughs> but the thing is, my family, we've been watching movies since we were uh, kids, horror movies. And I think I was around her age when I watched my first horror movie, which was Stephen King's It. Oh my goodness, Lily, you know what I just realized? What? The Mist. You know who wrote it? Who? Stephen King. So the tradition. Is he a king? No. <laughs> so the tradition of horror movies when we're kids with Stephen King continues to the new generation. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's not uh, really a movie for uh, for kids. So there are some parts of the movie where I told her not to watch, namely the spider scene. In the pharmacy, you guys know what I'm talking about. Mm. All right, so I wanted to see it. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little bit. Uh, it was a little bit too scary for uh, for kids. And also, hey, I'm not the one that got her into horror movies. <laughs> her aunt has been watching what show? <laughs> Stranger Things. All right, and what do you find scarier, Stranger Things, or the mist. A hundred percent the mist. <gasps> I've corrupted her young mind. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can hear the crickets. Hopefully they're being registered. They're louder than they were last time. But well, maybe the microphone is canceling out the crickets. All right, Lily. So the movie, the mist. All right. So I'm going to make two versions of the video. One with me and my, uh, my niece. And then I'm going to make my own version a bit later on, talking more about the the heavy stuff of the movie and things like this. So we're going to keep it uh, horror light for general audiences. <laughs> All right. So, Lily, on a scale of 1 to 10, how scary did you find the movie? The Mist. The Mist? What? The Mist. Oh. You know what just happened? No. It missed me. <laughs> um, oh. it's, it's a 5 out of 10 scary. You said dumbest. Hmm? <laughs> 5. 5. 5.9. Out of 10. <laughs> yes. So that means you didn't find the movie scary at all. I did. So how could it be halfway scary? I thought you would have given 5. it... 5.9! I thought you would have given it, the, out of scariness, a maybe 7 or an 8. Remember not, remember not how good the movie was or how nine. much you liked it? 9. So 9 out of 10 for scariness? Yes. Uh, I'm a tough girl! I pushed <laughs> through it! She did, she did. So we watched it uh, twice. Uh, so we can not in one day not in one day 
so we can familiarize ourselves with the people what the movie is about is it about cats no is it about it's dogs? about the mist the mist and what is the mist <laughs> it's kind of like what is it called? It's, it's kind of like it's kind of. I don't Silent know. Hill. No. <laughs> no. Have you ever watched Silent Hill? No. <laughs> you just ate my microphone. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. I completely ate the mic. There he is. And there's Barky Bark. His name's Benji. So what is in the mist? A bunch of monster things. Monster it things? It looks like flying pterodactyls and maybe pterodactyl flying things. I don't know. Was it almost Lovecraftian in nature? I don't know. Whatever that means. But there was Mr. Krabs, which was haunted. So it was kind of like an octopus, but he said it was Mr. Krabs. Oh, he had pinchers like Mr. Krabs. Yes, but he was an octopus too. He was an octopus crab. And who, octopus crab. And who did he catch? I don't know what his name was. Near do I. I don't know all of their names. So, uh, what was your favorite part of the movie, The Mist? <laughs> Definitely not when the people were dying. People died in the movie? I don't remember that. A lot of people. Uh, what happened? My favorite part? Yep. Is when the mist wasn't there. So the beginning of the movie was her favorite part. <laughs> yep. And then it all comes crumbling down. The saddest part? Is when the boy's mom died. That was the saddest part ever when everyone was dead. You, mean, you mean towards the end when they passed by their house? Yes. Well, you didn't really see anything with the mom except for the first five minutes of the movie. It's so sad. And what <laughs> monster from the mist was your favorite? None. You like any of them? No. <laughs> not not even the cute mosquitoes that crawled up on the windows and everybody was like, oh, wow. Ah! wow. Until they realized, uh oh, we're in trouble. Right, Benji? So my favorite my favorite monster from the mist was the one that you see towards the end where they're looking up in the sky and all you could see is his legs and the tentacles and that's when you realize there is no chance of survival in the mist they did though spoiler So do you remember, do you remember the military guy, the guy that looks like a doll? Do you remember what he said, how the mist came? Hey, a lab? Yep, very good, a lab. Wow. And what was that lab trying to do? I don't know. I don't remember. All right, so the lab believed that there were other worlds apart from ours parallel realities right different dimensions and they believe that they could talk to them so they wanted to open up a kind of communication with those cre <laughs> with those creatures and then they couldn't close the portal right and then what happened they all came to they all started pouring into our little planet. 
right, so Lily, now I'm going to ask you what the scariest part of the movie for you was, apart from the whole thing after the beginning. Is when you had to make me close my eyes. That was probably the scariest part for me. All right, so I made her close her eyes during the scene where they were in the pharmacy. So all she could do was listen to what was going on. So Lily, based on what you heard was going on, what do you, let's see how, how accurate her imagination could be. So based on what you were hearing, what do you think was happening in the pharmacy? So we know that it has spiders, right? All right. So what do you think was happening? Everyone was dying. Uh-huh. And why, and why was everybody dying? Because of the spider webs. The spider webs? Spiders. Anyway. But only one that from the spider web. Yeah, and do you remember what I said about the, the spider web? What it was? Poison? Yeah, so they have those spiders have two different types of spider webs. So they have the spider webs where they use to build their spider nest. So they have two different types of spider webs. The spider webs what they use cobwebs to build their nest and things like that. And then they have the spider webs that they shoot to trap their prey. So that spider web, it melts anything it catches. So, if it, so the, the spider web landed on the guy's leg and he was wearing jeans. So it melted, it cut away his jeans and then it started melting away the part of his leg where the spider web slid down. But at the same time, the spider web was also toxic. Yep, it was also poisonous. So even if you survive the spider burning, the spider web burning, the poison would still get you in the end. So the part that I had her close her eyes was so there was a military person that was against the wall, and he was still alive and covered in spider webs, and he had these welts all over his face, stomach, chest, and everything. So those alien spiders, those demon spiders, laid eggs in him. And they started hatching. So that was the part where I didn't want Lily to watch because it was quite, quite gruesome. He just told me everything I, that I didn't watch. Yep, I told you, but you didn't see it. So Lily, if the mist ever came I would die. To our backyard. I would die. Really? You wouldn't? What, what do you think you would do if you if the mist came to uh, our backyard in three seconds? So well, you, first I would burn out all these candles. Well, what did they do in this? What did they do in the grocery store? Put on all the lights, which was so stupid. And that's what attracted the mosquitoes, right? And yes. And the flying ones, right? Yes. And that pterodactyl thing. How cute was the pterodactyl? Ugly. <laughs> Do you remember when the mosquito bit the, the girl in the neck? Yes. Yeah, that part but, was gruesome. But I I remember once that they landed one on one of them, and she stayed still, and it went up, and then it just flew away. And what happened with her afterwards? She was killed. Uh, but before before that, she was a psycho. And why was she a psycho? <laughs> She's just a psycho. Remember how she got everybody so scared and so worked up that they all started believing in her, and she was their savior, and everyone started doing whatever she was saying. <laughs> and then they were going to kill the people, right? Yes. Expiation. How much people were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Do you remember, what happened? Do you remember what happened with the, the, the redhead in the storage room? What? When they first saw the tentacle? He wanted to go out. Do you want to talk about that scene? He wanted to go out and then he died. Because he went out. Well, he didn't go out, but the tentacle took him out. Yep, exactly. 
Did you find the big tentacle scary? Yes. Would you like that tentacle to hug you? No. Yeah, I thought that was one of the the, the cooler scenes where the uh, they're trying to convince people that there is something out there, so they so one of the clerks this volunteers to go out, and then as they're raising the door, the tentacle comes in, bites a part of his leg off, bites a part of his chest off, and that's when we knew he was not having a good day. He wasn't having a good day at the at start. The whole miss thing, and that wasn't the bad. That that was the bad day. Everything else was also a bad day. YouTuber. Stop barking. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up over here. So she's gonna do her own movie review on her and My her channel. sister's channel. So go check that out. And what movie review are you going to do, Lily? Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Cloudy with a chance of meet the bowls. And not to. Not to. Maybe First later. One. Maybe later. And what what movie reviews did you guys do on your channel actually? We did a Super Mario movie review. We did a Super Mario movie review. Uh -huh. We did a snack review. We did a cookie review. We carved a pumpkin. We decorated a real Christmas tree. Um, with just me, I went to a room. And there. Who did you go to the room to? It was. It wasn't just you, was it? And did you have, Did you have a good time there? Yes. Awesome. And I did a roller skating all by myself for the first time. That was short. Awesome. So, Life's awesome. So, do you want to do another collaboration one day? We did. Do one on my channel. Oh yeah, and what what did we what did we do? Play SpongeBob. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do some highlight uh, clips on uh, this uh, channel, and then on the YouTube Kids channel, they have the full 35 minute gameplay of her playing SpongeBob. Okay. Square pants battle for bikini bottom rehydrated. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. So drop a like, like comment, comment, subscribe, and as well check out the girls' channel. I appreciate and you guys giving us some of your time today. And like and subscribe to my channel too. Absolutely. So thank you guys for watching. Jiga Vega and Lily out. out. Good job, Lily. Good job. Oh, you want to blow out the candles? Yeah! Be careful you don't blow your jeans. It's fun. <laughs> On my face. How did you get wax on your face? I'm blowing too hard. Nice. So we're going to wrap it up over here. So she's going to do her own movie review.